We're now going to be talking to Lydia Fraser Ward. We're going to be talking all about um, an outdoor dance performance called Paradiso. Um, welcome along, Lydia. Thank you for having me, Daniel. It's great to be here. I was wondering if you could tell us um, a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, I'm a dance producer and I work for a company called Academy, which is based in London. And it's a dance company that specifically makes Indian dance and South Asian dance. And we like to make those performances for either outdoors or for unusual places and spaces in communities. Can you tell us more about um, what you're doing, creating? Yes, I mean, actually we're um, in the local area at the moment because we've been commissioned to create an outdoor dance performance for Beachfields. So all around the Healthy Living Centre we're going to be creating a dance performance that uses you know the area around the sea wall around the gardens around the car park and it's going to be site responsive so it's really going to look at the site and be created for just that site who is choreographing the dance um well we're working with this fantastic choreographer called mayuri boonam um, and she works with a classical indian dance style called bharatanatyam uh, and what she does is she mixes that classical style with contemporary dance and creates a whole new vocabulary so she makes really exciting dance work um, she used to actually be joint artistic director of a company called angika dance and in the past few years as she's presented at places like the royal opera house and at the place and at the south bank center so it's fabulous for us to be able to work with her on this project in Sheppey. we're really looking forward to it um, are you um, delivering dance workshops? Yes, we are. Actually, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to talk to you today because obviously we're making this piece Paradiso, which will be shown on the 10th and 11th of September. But also, uh, we're really keen to try and... Um, in, well, entice some of your listeners to take part in some free dance workshops that we're also holding at the Healthy Living Centre throughout the summer. Um, basically, we're making this dance show and it's, and it's all about responding to the site. But you can't really respond to a site unless you know more about it and you know about the people who live there and use it and love it. So we want to hold these dance workshops so that some of your local residents can take part and learn a bit of Indian dance if they fancy it. Uh, so they're going to be taking place on the 13th, 20th and 27th of August and on the 3rd of September. So they're all Saturday mornings and they're going to be from 10.30 in the morning till midday and the workshops are aimed at 11 to 18 year olds. So if any of your listeners happen to be aged 11 to 18 and they fancy trying a bit of Indian dance, all of the workshops are free and all they need to do is call me, uh, that's Lydia on 0207 691 3210 and tell me their name and their contact number and they'll be signed up. We are talking to Lydia Fraser Ward here at the Monday Night Community Show this evening. We're talking all about the outdoor dance performance Paradiso right here at BRFM 95.6. We are talking to Lydia Fraser Ward. We're talking all about the uh, outdoor dance performance Paradiso right here at BRFM 95.6 this evening. And I understand you want to respond to the uh, gardens, the seawall and uh, the features of Beachfields. Well, it's such a fantastic sight. I mean, as soon as I saw it, I was very excited about what we could make there. Um, we've been thinking about creating a piece of, in a secret garden for a few years, and um, we'd started batting around some ideas and thought about Dante's Divine Comedy, which some of your listeners may be familiar with, and the third part of the Divine Comedy is called Paradiso, and Dante sort of takes you on this journey through the nine circles of heaven um, to paradise. And uh, when I came to Beachfields, I just loved the big sea wall that was there because you can hear the sea, but you can't see it. And I kind of felt that that was a bit like heaven. <laughs> you know, it's there, but you can't quite reach it. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using all the different features of the site, uh, all the different levels and all the different bits of architecture to create the different circles of heaven. And the idea is that audiences just come along for the ride and, uh, and, and enjoy it with us. Could you tell us more about um, the dance company? Yeah, I work for a company called Academy and um, it's basically a South Asian dance organisation that's based in London. It's been running for over 30 years and what we try to do is uh, make and support 
contemporary South Asian dance and other art forms. And uh, we do this by supporting artists and, um, and creating shows and running education workshops. And uh, it's a real pleasure to be actually outside of London with you today and working on a project for Kent and in Sheppey especially. And it's been fabulous actually just the last few weeks. Today I was at um, Westland School in Sittingbourne doing a demonstration with Mayuri. And uh, we're really looking forward to creating a piece for beach fields and, and getting local residents involved in it. Uh, before you go, um, Lydia, I was just wondering if you could um, refresh our listeners about the um, workshops, of course the dance performance, and any useful contact details as well. Sure, absolutely. So um, we're going to be performing parody so on September the 10th and September the 11th, Saturday and Sunday, as part of the Sheppey Festival. And we're looking to do it twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, probably around 11.30 and 2.30, but full detail has to come through about that and it's going to be a 20 minute performance which is suitable for all the family so do come along and enjoy it and it's free you can come and see it every time if you like or just once and it's going to be all around beach fields and in the lead up to that if any of you 11 to 18 year olds fancy doing a little bit of Indian dance for free it's going to be happening at the Sheppey Health Healthy Living Centre uh, every Saturday from the 13th to the 3rd. So that's August the 13th, August 20th, August 27th, and September the 3rd from 10:30 a.m. till 12 noon at Sheppey Healthy Living Centre, and that's also free. So if you want to take part, please do call me on 020 7691 3210. That's 020 7691 3210. Or you can also find my contact details on Academy's website, which is www.akademi.co.uk. And I'd just like to say a very, very quick thank you to Encounter, who have commissioned the programme. And that's been run by the North Kent Local Authorities Arts Partnership. And I'd also like to say a big thank you to the Healthy Living Centre and to BRFM for having me here today. It's been fabulous. And a quick shout out to Les, my cab driver, for being such a lovely, lovely guy taking me here. And thank you so much. And I'd like to thank you for coming along this evening and, of course, telling the listeners all about um, your outdoor dance performance.